Scott in Columbus, Ohio. He writes to me and he says, recently, you have been talking about the benefits of using monoblock amplifiers instead of using two-channel or multi-channel amps. Now, many amplifier manufacturers, ATI, Bryston, etc., make dual mono amplifiers. Now, these amplifiers have separate power supplies, output stages, etc., and that are all contained in one chassis. In fact, many of the dual mono amplifiers come with multiple plugs that are recommended to be plugged into separate circuits. Can you tell me what benefits, similarities, and differences are between monoblock amps and dual mono amplifiers? Well, you know, if you have two completely separate power supplies, amplifiers, AC plugs, the whole bit, and it's in one box, other than any potential crosstalk, which is so small as to be irrelevant, I would say there's probably no difference. No, except, I mean, one's going to be in one box, and it's probably less expensive because those boxes ain't cheap. I mean, our, our boxes, our chassis, are one of, the, one of the most expensive parts that we uh, have. I mean, if you look at a parts list of, of our equipment, the chassis is right up there in the top one to two, three, you know, top one or two, three. So, yeah, it's a, it's a big expense. And now, I will say that here's a couple of caveats to that. First off, when we're talking about regular Class AB amplifiers, we have to be cognizant of the fact they make heat. And it can be very difficult to put two amplifiers of any reasonable wattage in the same chassis because of heat. So you're going to be kind of limited, right? Unless the chassis is huge. So typically what happens in a stereo amplifier, we have one channel is on one side of the chassis and it has its heat sink. And then the other side is duplicated over here with the other channel. Now the difference between that and a true dual mono is that you might have that situation, but then you're going to add power supplies that are completely separate. So now the box, by necessity, either gets bigger or all the stuff inside has to get smaller or you won't be able to produce much because you're kind of limited by how much heat you can dissipate in an amplifier and you're limited to the size uh, of the transformers, right? If you look inside one of our monoblock amplifiers, like a BHK 300, okay, or the massive BHK 600, 70, 75 percent of that chassis on the inside is filled up with a transformer. So there is no way that we could build anything, and, and both sides have heat sinks, right? We didn't do that just for looks. It's built that way because it has to be that way. So again, that's the caveats. You're going to have smaller transformers and less heat sink per amplifier, which means they're going to be lower wattage. Unless we're talking class D, and that's a whole different story. And there, I don't think it really matters other than noise, because class D amps are kind of noisy. So in general, nah. Probably not, but just keep in mind those particulars, if you would, to that. All right. Thanks for the question. I hope, hope it helped. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.